hello, hello. This is Erica, and you're joining me on Energy Clearing for Life Force Meditation Podcast. <laughs> this is such a cool podcast. I, I built this podcast two summers ago, and I built it just recording positive self-talk. I was like going through a really crappy time and I had gotten evicted. I didn't have a place to live. I was trying to figure it out. I had three children to support. I, it was not going well. The, um, the business model that I was running had gotten sluggish and I had just fallen apart. I had uh, kind of a mismatch between the people that wanted to hire me and <laughs> what they wanted to pay me. Like, I can't even tell you how low I was getting paid. Like, I think I was getting paid like $200 for, you know, 2000 words or something. Like I can write 500 words and charge a thousand dollars like easily. And I have for years and I fell into this lack thing that just spiraled down so hard. So I built this podcast to actually shift my own energy to shift my own energy and I stand before you changed I'm moving into my own home <laughs> a few miles from the beach I'm sending my daughter to college without stress I'm paying for her year she also has aid and scholarships her whole first year is funded I know <laughs> it's so exciting she's going to a d1 university I know so exciting <sighs> I have um, I have a beautiful Tennessee walking horse, beautiful car. And you know, here's the thing is I came from, I chose so much lack and it's, I, I allowed others to define me and then I let their negativity stick on me. And then I allowed myself to see myself through the lens of failure to, to a beyond like, like it, it just kept catapulting on itself. And I want to just tell you that this shifting into affirmations, I get it. It doesn't make sense. How can I say I have money when I don't? How can I say I'm doing well when I'm not? I mean, any person would say, Erica, you're not doing well, right? <laughs> In the past. <sighs> However, the interesting thing is it wasn't, a course that I created that changed everything. It wasn't a book that I wrote that changed everything. None of the things that I thought would lead to this land of, of doing well was directly related in that same way. Now I am building several courses and I did build a course on energy clearing, which you can find at energyclearingforlife.com. I'm also working on my first search engine optimization course super excited about that so I'm doing those things um they're not really tied to success or wealth or happiness the way that I thought they were like I, I always sort of saw myself as one thing away from it all working like if I could just x if I could just y the thing that shifted was inside and it had to do with I called up to creator and I said, creator, <laughs> you know, what's, what's up? What should I be, not what should I be doing, but what, what would be good? What would be awesome? What would be beautiful? And what I got shown was so nonsensical. <laughs> it was, you are the creation. You are the creation. That in creating yourself, in shining in being the brightness of you in holding yourself in that light and understanding that you are beautiful and you have everything and then the money comes and the money comes and the money comes and it just comes so easily and it just comes all the time and money comes when I'm sleeping and money comes when I'm showing up at a place and money comes when I'm moving into my own home and even though I'm buying a house money is coming more money is coming, more plenty of money to pay off that home once I'm in that huge debt I get to take on to take that house. I'm so excited. 
more money will come, more money will come. And so as I just shift into the wealth of it, and I'm not, I'm not really sure, like if I look back, like, like why is such a mind F and I really do think so. But if I look at like this choice of understanding wealth and being in poverty and part of me is just like, why would I even want to focus on that in a lifetime? And yet it seems I made vows at birth to be in poverty. Yeah. I promised my parents I would live in poverty. I was proud of being a poor writer. I think I made 170 a week full-time writing for my first newspaper job. And they were so proud of me. And they rewarded the poverty. Like, you're poor, but you're writing full-time. We're so proud of you. So what if that was not actually true? What if that was not actually who I was born to be? What if being in poverty was not my birthright? Oh my gosh. And you know, it's funny because I spent a lot of time on this topic. So obviously, since you're still here, (laughs) it may serve you to see the shifts that happened where I was suddenly able to have as much as I wanted every single month. And suddenly the funds just came in every single month and it became a month on month kind of endeavor. It became not a one-time this or that generation of this to pay that it became a monthly monthly always coming always coming always coming the money is always coming and as I became more and more certain and as I worked my gifts to serve others in bigger and bigger ways it shifted this whole thing bigger into happiness and let's just Be in happiness together. Let's be in happiness together. Let's see the thermometer raise on our happiness and let's just see it all coming because when good people have lots of money, really good things happen. Really beautiful, beautiful changes happen. Yeah. Do we want to let sort of the (laughs) the other side, the darkness have all the money? Or are we willing to take some ourselves so that we can be benevolence and we can be light and we can help children who need to learn to read and we can help feed people. We can do so much once, once we've agreed to be in a space of wealth. And it's really, it's really a consciousness. It's not a doing. And I, I, I kept I kept hearing it and disconnecting it and saying, if I just do something different, I will blah, blah. And it really wasn't that. It was staying in this beautiful place on a daily basis, living in a beautiful home, having beautiful things around me, having my children be healthy and thrive, having my pets be happy. (laughs) My horse needs a little more exercise, but otherwise he's very fat and happy. (laughs) Yeah, so let's just see this now showing up for you as though it were just the easiest thing in the whole wide world. What if this were the easiest thing in the whole world? What would that would that be like? What is the you like that is the having this you? Yeah. Who is the you that can just wave your hands and have magic show up? Like, like I can go on amazon.com and buy anything I want pretty much. (laughs) Now this is coming again. Like we're going back to where it just sucked a couple years ago and it isn't, doesn't suck now. And what changed was this belief in being this positive spark, this force of good, this force of light, this, that energy of, of being in creation and having this. And I'm just going to do a little rant for just a few minutes. So, so I have money. I am money. I see money. I invite money. I attract money. Money shows up for me just like it's so easy. Money is mine. I have money. I keep my money. My money grows. My money helps make more money. My money loves to thrive my money helps children my money helps 
my world, my money allows me to take care of myself to the extreme. My money is part of the whole in a way that's enough for everyone. In me allowing myself, I free others to allow themselves. As I allow myself, I free others to be in havingness. As I step into havingness, I allow others to be in happiness, to be in creation, to have podcasts that do well, that have books that sell well, to have (laughs) all these things that they've been desiring. And just me allowing myself to be in happiness is allowing others to be in happiness. Just me saying yes to my own desires. Just me agreeing that I have it. I am it. I am creation. Oh my gosh. I am Really, I am a star seed. Oh, I'm a star seed. I'm a star seed. I'm a star seed. My gifts haven't been realized in the fashion that they could, and yet they are realizing all the time. So good. So good. Yeah, so that's the show for today. I hope you're enjoying my my ranting tangents. <laughs> you can go to, uh, if you go to energyclearingforlife.podbean.com, that has some more meditations. If you go to ericaglessing.com, you can check out my uh, coaching. If you go to energyclearingforlife.com, you can check out uh the three free videos on how to clear anything, including entities. And then I also have SEO for leadgen.com where I teach uh, search engine optimization, how to get seen and heard online. So that's a lot of resources for you. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day.